Well, I caught a nice brook trout. <laughs> Didn't have the camera turned on, but I caught a nice one. John hooked up first cast too. <laughs> oh dang, that is a nice one. Ooh, that's a pretty one. On the uh, Rough Rider too, huh? Oh, that looks like a good fish too. Poor Bassy boy. R.I.P. What's up Spanks? Welcome to another fishing adventure with Trout Spankins. Today we are out at one of the two ponds we fished yesterday where I caught one of two of my first trout slams of the year. Now what that means is I caught all three species of trout that were stocked in this pond but I also went to another pond and caught all three species of trout that were stocked in that one too. Double slam in the same day out here at one of the same ponds where we caught all three species of trout yesterday. Now it's a little bit different conditions. The wind isn't blowing 50 miles an hour so so it might be either easier or harder to catch. Today, we're gonna to be fishing with two special guests. We're gonna be fishing with Papa Spankins, but we're also gonna be fishing with our friend from Florida who traveled all the way up here from Florida to come and spank some trouts with us. Papa Spankins and John are already here, so I'm gonna uh, walk down there, try to find them, and spank some chutes. Any what? Where's John? Uh, okay. Got a rainbow. You catch anything, John? You got anything? Nah. Rainbow? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, what are some fish I saw over there? Rising? Yeah. Yeah. Huh. Yeah, I wonder if, um, I mean, a lot of them probably just got put in here yesterday. They put rookies in here yesterday. I've noticed a lot of times, like, sometimes the day they stock it, it'll be okay. And then, like, the next day, it's like nothing wants to bite the whole, the old, the ones that have been there, the new ones. <laughs> the whole thing with these touch kind of like, so yesterday, you know, I went to this morning early and there was a guy in the exact same spot they were and he got like 20. Really? And I didn't even get a hit anyone. I fished you know, either side of him, you know, giving him you know, a lot more distance than that. But, you know, did you get a hit? Who knows? But they stocked it yesterday the first time. They mean, they're weird. All fish are weird. Yesterday I was friggin' numb. Um catching them by that picnic table over there. Maybe we should try on the other side of the beach. They might be stacked up over there. I, that's, I, I didn't move from that spot yesterday. I caught three brookies, a rainbow, and a brown right in front of that picnic table. So we should probably maybe wait around a little bit. Maybe that's the deal. Yeah, moving is always good. I was just telling John yesterday, I was fishing in front of that picnic table over there, and that was where I caught everything. I didn't move from that spot the whole time. Well, here he goes. Papa Spankin's catching them all. <laughs> Same thing yesterday. Is he rubbing up against your boot? Yeah. <laughs> That's what it did to me yesterday. He like a kitty cat. Meow. I got it on oh, the rough ride. Right. Where'd you get that? <laughs> Get we trading for Oh, I'm you, you drove all the way to Maine to get one of those? Next pond? All right. Do you know where I caught them yesterday was right next to the bathroom where that rock transition is? That's where I caught the rainbow and the brookie yesterday. Um, but I mean, there's also a good chance there'll be people fishing over there. So yeah, if not there, the back cove, somewhere around there. Yeah, the, the brookies are a real- They feed bad. them pretty they're good. Sometimes they're real nice. <laughs> 
Some of them, it was almost like you could see the pellets in their stomach, you know, <laughs> poking out from That's the... That's what you see with the rainbows a lot. The rainbows look like footballs sometimes. Yeah. I mean... Even some of them that they stalked, some of the fresh stalkers, they were like, you know, no pun intended, but stocky. Well, I caught a nice brook trout. <laughs> Didn't have the camera turned on, but I caught a nice one. Shoot. All right, Spanks, welcome to day two of the video. Now, as you saw on day one, me and Papa Spankins are fishing with our friend John, who traveled all the way up from Florida just to spank some trout with us. As you saw on day one, John traveled up to the mainland to fish some of the local lakes near where we live, and kind of slow. Papa Spankins, he spanked three. Me and John pretty much got skunked the whole day until the sun went down, and then I did end up catching a brook trout, which is probably the biggest brook trout I ever caught. Unfortunately, I had the camera turn off which is pretty unfortunate because that was probably one of the best fights I've ever had in a lightweight rod from a trout so day one a little disappointing hopefully day two down here on Cape Cod will be better it's overcast it's a little windy it's raining so I'm hoping these fish will be bite the three of us will all be throwing a variation of different kinds of spoons and possibly spinners and uh, yeah hopefully we put a hurting on them let's get into it all right fishing fam we're out here at the spot Wind blowing 20 in our face, just how we like it. Let's try to spank some. Oh, I just got dead. Sidewinder by Acme. Yeah, nice little brookie. Cool deal. Never caught a brookie out of here before. Yeah, second cast, not bad. Hopefully that's a good sign. Papa Spankins and John are running a little bit late, but they should be here shortly, so hopefully they're getting here at the right time. You're going back. You all go back as long as you don't, like, you know, hurt yourselves. Oh, hey. There he goes. <laughs> skunk off our back early hopefully that's a good sign perfect day for fishing not a lot of people out and a lot of times it's a good deal these crappy days all salad no meat bad deal Anything? yeah one little brookie. one little brookie i think it was the first or second cast with the uh side winder and took like another 20 casts after that with it nothing put the rough rider on i've taken about 10 casts with that and Nothing, so I don't know. Oh, well. Maybe they're uh, pushed up in this cove uh, over yeah, here. Well, I got one way over there. You did? Oh, over in the yeah. And I got one way over there. I mean, you know, with this wind, they might be over there. I, I was, I'm just not sure where they stopped. There, there were two other gates right. down that Over way. there, yeah. Could be over there. Mm -hmm. Who knows? Mm -hmm. I guess, that's why John's a little late. Why? I bought a house. Really? <laughs> did you? <laughs> Nice! <laughs> Congratulations! <laughs> are you um are you leaving Florida or are you but are you so you're, you're 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 not doing like you're not no. gonna have the two? No. What town? Uh Harwich, right up there. Harwich. So um which one of the uh, hundreds of stocked trout lakes are you down the street from? <laughs> well, yeah, I think they're gonna do the cape this morning. Yeah. By the you can kind of judge by the pattern of how they stock. It seems to me they usually do Nickerson like early in the week. And yeah. Then the, 
Luciano may see her do later in the week. Is that the one that um, my dad said Tony used to fish a lot? Yeah, I, yesterday I got like 10 in a half hour there. And oh, shit. And we certainly, we could go there. I mean, it's right there. <laughs> the it's raccoon? Like, it, it was the first first trout I caught it. It swallowed the lure, so oh, I'll eat it for dinner. I don't care. And there was, you know, I ran back and there was a rock. Oh my God, I, you know, I put it up on the rock. I'm fishing and something caught, you know, out of the corner of my eye, look around. Raccoon. Okay. <laughs> His friend caught this, this um, big Dolly Vaden trout. It was the biggest one he, he, Dolly Vaden had caught up there. It was six or seven pounds, and he caught a smaller one. And he had him, in, you know, in, in the boat. Oh, he looks. We get back to the boat, and we um, they see a, a mink. You know, one of those little minks is dragging the big one into the bushes, so. He, he's pissed at the field. He opens it, looks in the bushes, can't find it. So he says, I'll just wait here and I'll, he'll probably come back for the other one, which he does, and then I'll, I'll you know, get both of them back. So he comes back, and the mink, I don't know how the hell they drag this. They're strong. Sure. Mm -hmm. he, the other, he grabs the They're other They're like one, a ferret. He starts putting it in the bushes and he starts you know, going after him to see where he's bringing it. All of a sudden, he disappears. There was a hole there and he brought the thing into the hole. So <laughs> <laughs> well, what about uh, Timmy's fish that got stolen on the beach down at the uh, lighthouse at Sanibel? We're fishing for a while, all of a sudden he turns around he's like, somebody stole my fish! And we're like, what? And looking around he was like, yeah, somebody stole my fish! And I think it was like, what, 20 minutes later we saw an osprey flying around, which we kept, didn't we keep trying to tell him that it was the osprey? And he was like, no, I think somebody's... I'm like, yeah, Timmy, it was the 80-year-old uh, guy in Speedos. He stuck it in his Speedos and walked off with it down the beach. Give it a college. Are we all? Are we all got Rough Riders on? Yeah. <laughs> John hooked up first cast too. <laughs> oh dang, that is a nice one. You are nice. Heck yeah. Ooh, that's a pretty one. On the uh, Rough Rider too, huh? <laughs> rough Rider. Cool. I heard those work good for trout. I've never, I've only caught them on the trout magnet for soft plastic. Well, hopefully the uh, bite will be picking up here. Oh, got one. Got one. Got to try to keep them on these trees and these rocks. Here. Rainbow, grab another brookie. Hey, it's another brookie. All right, cool. <laughs> Might be the same dang one. Brook trout. Pretty one. Very pretty. Other way. Oh, for fuck's sake. Two brookies. John's got a brown now. Well, Papa Spankin's got to get one. That one was on the Rough Rider spoon. Oh, get a hit. Brook trout. Nice. Oh, that's a nice one. Oh yeah, look at that. That is a good one. Oh, that one's got beautiful spots on it. Wow. That's a nice one. Oh, look at those spots. <laughs> oh. 
Papa Spankin's got one. Oh, heck yeah. Oh, you almost poked me in the eye. All right, we all got a fish now. Cool. Oh, Papa Spankin's got another one. Look at this guy over here. <laughs> Look at that. Oh, that looks like a good fish too. Another, oh, another brownie. Look at this guy. It's a nice one. Pretty one. Off he goes. Oh. I've got one. Me and John doubled up. <laughs> You got one too? <laughs> All right, me and John both got crookies, doubled up. One over here, one over there. Yeah, another brookie, yeah. Yep. Ooh, this one's got some really cool spots. Look at that, you guys, dang. Woo! Damn, that is a pretty looking brook trout, you guys. Wow. Awesome. Yeah, other way, brother. Off he goes. Sweet. Is that a brown or a brookie? Nice. Oh, Papa Spankins just got bit. Hey, look at this guy. Brookie? Hell yeah. Well, still, I mean, that's the size of most of the ones I've been catching. Well, that Rough Rider is a good deal today. I think I'm going to fish between those two. Seems like the fish are stacked up in this little cove. Oh, got bit. See, I knew the fish were over here. This lure has been absolutely killer. Especially when they don't want to hit other spoons. Oh, got one. Got one on the 49er, guys. They're running towards me. This might be a brown. Yep, cool. First brown of the day. For me, anyway. Papa Spankins and John have caught a couple, but it's my first one. Cool deal. Nice brown on the 49er. Awesome. I mean, I say nice, it's not big. Most of these aren't. They're not holdovers, but they're pretty. Fun to catch, so I like it. Pretty dudes, or gals. I believe that's a female. A hen. I believe it's a hen. Come on, hen. Get out of there, you, you clucking rooster. Come on. Come on, mate. You can do it. There you go. Cracking trout. Oh, on the right, as soon as it hit the water, that thing got doinked. All right, Spanx. So, pawn number one. Pretty successful. Papa Spankins, John, and myself all caught trout, at least three or four a piece, all brookies and browns. We were all throwing the Rough Rider, and that's what most of the fish were caught on. I caught one brown trout at the end there on the uh, Al's 49er. The bite 
I would say slowed down, but it pretty much stopped. We're gonna go to another pond down the street and see what happens. All right, Spanks, pond number two, day number two. Papa Spankins and John are already down here. I had to go grab a cup of coffee to stay awake. So hopefully they're biting over here now. We'll see. Two, bows, rainbows. Never fished this pond before. John's got one down there. <laughs> Must be a little more shallow where I am. I'm getting weeds. Are you? Looks like a brookie. Oh, just got ham bone. John's got a nice one over here. What you got there, John Rainbow? It's like a nice one. Nice to have a little variety. Oh, that's a good size rainbow too. That might be a might be a holdover. No? Oh wow. That a uh, rainbow? Well, they seem nice and lively. Pretty good. I think that's the, uh, the only species I haven't caught today. The rainbow. Oh, Papa Spankin's got one now. Everyone's catching but me. I guess I'll just be the cameraman for today's video. Well, maybe I need to put my Rough Rider back on. Be uh, fishing any other ponds or fishing here. Or... I'll leave that up to you guys. You guys caught all the trout at this pond, so. <laughs> you, want, you want to go try one of those channel ponds? Sure. Okay. Yeah. You want it? Sure. Which one? All right, Spanx, pond number three, day number two, fishing with Papa Spankins and our friend John up from Florida to do some trout fishing. Now, pond number two was a pretty big success for those guys. I pretty much played the cameraman the whole time, but that's okay. Over here at a new pond, another one I've never fished before. Hopefully it's more like the first pond where we all catch them. Oh my God. Did you see this? It's like a two pound bass that got eaten by something. Oh, that's weird. It's just the head and the spine. Poor bassy boy. R.I.P. Oh. Lost another one. And he's got one. Hold on. What is it, a brown? Oh, nice. Yeah, I just, uh, I just hooked one and lost it. Yep. Gotcha, yep. All right, Spanx, that's going to wrap up the fishing segment of the video. Hope you enjoyed. If you did, please hit the like button and think about subscribing. So overall, pretty successful two days. Day two was definitely better than day one. Day two, at least today, we all caught fish. Pond one was definitely the most productive. We each caught three or four brookies and brown trout at the first one. Second and third pond didn't go so well for me. I spent most of the time playing the cameraman, but you know what? That's okay. It's a fitting way to end the video with my father and John spanking some truths. So now there's only one thing left to do. We're going to go out and eat at a new restaurant I've never been to before. We'll see you over there. All right, Spanx, we're at the restaurant. Let's go inside and enjoy some of this delicious Cape Cod cuisine. Well, I think I know what I'm getting.
Look at that delicious salmon. Guess you had to buy it and couldn't catch it, huh? <laughs> Over here with the fish and chips like you should talk. <laughs> All right, Spanx, hope you enjoyed. Hope to see you on the next one. Keep on spanking them.